Hey guys, what's up? Beast and Beast Toys here coming at you. Going to do an opening of a Skeletor, the new Filmation cartoon collection. Uh, got this from Amazon. As you can tell, this is what it came like. So, uh, every one of these so far, I've, I've got five. Okay? Uh, majority of them are card backs are bent, uh, wrinkled, lots of crinkling here. Terrible job. If I was non-opener, I'd be pissed. I wouldn't have kept any of these. I'm just telling you. Uh, my Tila is the closest one. She's got a little bit of a... She's probably the best one I've got. She's got a little bit of corn dings, but we'll get to her. We'll do her another day. I'm going to do Skeletor today and probably Trap Jaw, since Trap Jaw is my favorite. Um, so anyway, I got everyone so far except He-Man. He-Man's kind of eluded me yet. Uh, Every one I've got thus far, surprisingly, and not surprisingly, come damaged, come from Amazon. And uh, it's just kind of the only luck I've had. Here's the comic that comes with Skeletor. It's fallen out three times. And uh, here's a little instruction booklet, so to speak. Anyway, but at any rate, here he is, so check the back art as you can see let me get it in a non there we go a non glare on the thing so you know you get these little masks that come and shows in here these come from a one of the episodes uh early episodes of the cartoon of course here on the back you've got four out of the six new ones so far that i've actually released trap john tila being the next merman stratos coming so um cool you obviously get the Castle Grace goal in the background. So this one's going to be easy to take out, obviously, as you can tell. Well, there goes a piece. As you can tell, uh, stuff comes out. So you can take off. There's this mask. You can take these off and put these on Skeletor. They are, uh, again, they're from an episode. It's been a while since I've watched uh, any He-Man episode, so I can't exactly remind you, I guess, or tell you per se what which episode it was. So, um, but it shows in the illustration. Obviously, you can put those on Skeletor, as seen on O Mask of Power. That's the episode. I think that's a season one, by the way. Uh, pretty early, like I guess. Said pretty early on, if I remember, one of the first few, as a matter of fact, I believe. So. Anyway, this is going in my box over here. So, I didn't have to pull off a million little plastic things to get him out. So that's great. Um, you know, I've, I've been saying for quite some time, I still wish they were a little, wish they wouldn't have raised the price much. But, uh, you know, these were started out as fourteen ninety nine figures. And I said for a long time, that's a great price point for these uh, if you want to sell a lot. And I think Mattel's doing okay. We have gotten, I have gotten a lot of, not me personally, I've seen a lot of complaints where a lot of people are basically like, hey, this Mattel Creations is kind of taking the uh, rain and uh, messing with this while I'm talking. And uh, now you're only having a hard time. They're either exclusives or creations, which I'm going to be honest, haven't seen one of these in store yet. Not one. And uh, you would think, especially as many He-Man and Skeletor as you saw in the original, that you would see these in store. I have not. Not one bit. I'm hoping to find a He-Man. It's the only one I don't have. Amazon's got him for 30 I still think that's too high. I'm not paying that right now. So I'll wait it out. This one, it was kind of the same. He was up like at 28 bucks, and all of a sudden I got on one day, and he was back to regular retail, $17.99. So, all right. So anyway, you got these masks to power. You can pop old... Oh. Skeletor's head off, and you can pop a mask of power on if you want. If you want him to look like that, you can. I think, again, like if you go back and watch the original episode, he, uh, oh, Jesus, I'm always dropping stuff. All right, anyway, if you go back and watch the original, like he wears, I think it's like this one. An evil in where's another one so i think later on down the road you can obviously you'll be able to swap these two out because we got evil in coming 
see this uh, later this year, I guess. So, so personal opinion. Um, yeah, he looks like the cartoon. When I when I look at these, I see others looking more like the original. Um, you know, from the cartoon, Skeletor does look pretty pretty close. But I think uh, I'm gonna do Trap Jaw in a second. I think he does. Tila does. Man at Arms does. Actually, he's probably the least, if you ask me, um, of all the characters. So he doesn't have a. Here he is geared up in this arm. This this wrist is kind of loose. That's why it's turning. Here he is, all geared up. Um, the good thing about these is there's really not a ton to show. You get the elbow articulation here. If you want, you can, you know, bend it quite a bit. This one, like I said, this wrist is pretty loose over here. So, I don't know. I feel like I should switch my sword and my staff. Because the sword's not going to flop around so much. But this wrist is a little tighter. He'll hang on to the staff. But there he is. Um, you know, again, knee articulation, boots. I used to complain, or used to complain sometimes because some of my Masterverse figures come and their boots are super loose. But that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I mean, it's neat. Um, I'm, I'm a Masters fan, so it's going to be hard not to want to pick all these up. But that's what you get. You get Wizards, Wizard. And, uh, yeah, pretty cool. Like I said, you get this. Here's the comic. So, here's what you get, guys. There's your Skeletor Filmation. Pretty cool. So, anyway, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, guys. You like what you see. Uh, go ahead and like, subscribe, all that good stuff. You want to get more notifications from my reviews. And, guys, with uh, Filmation Skeletor, thanks for watching. I'm Beast and Beast Toys. We'll see you.